Wow. Mm. <clears throat> Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> I love having sit down chats, even if it's just with myself. It's therapeutic, but self-talk is so underrated. It's gonna help me like sort out my thoughts. Also give you guys, whoever you guys are, an update. If you do like my channel, I'm glad you've come back. I'm glad that I've come back to the YouTube channel. So this is basically just a freaking yap sesh. Enjoy. And I'm gonna be braiding my hair. When I was posting my most recent YouTube video, I looked at like the timestamp that I posted my video before that and it was literally four months ago. I feel like you guys deserve to know what's happened in the past four months. I mean, it's nothing special like May slash April-ish. End of April. So you guys have seen all the videos of me going to school and whatnot. And I'm here to tell you people that as of April 2024, I graduated. I graduated college. And you may be wondering, did I ever post about it? No, I did not. I graduated in general psychology. Big whoop, right? I graduated summa cum laude. I didn't even know what that meant until the day of. Rewind to March, I turned 23. Also in May, me and my mans made one year. I know I haven't said much about him either. It was kind of a mutual agreement. You just didn't want a relationship to be out like that. I'd rather people know that we're together but not know anything about us than know that we're together and know every single thing about us. There's little things here and there that I do let people see, but he's literally the sweetest person alive. Like, I consider myself very lucky, like so, so lucky. Because number one, growing up, I would watch a lot of rom-com movies. That's my favorite type of genre for movies. I'm just obsessed with them. And I I always got freaking butt hurt that these that it that it felt like everybody was finding their rom-com partner. <laughs> yeah, for the longest time I'm like, where's mine? I want one. When people say love finds I'm a witness to that very statement because around the same time that I'm like, you know, frick men, they suck. All they do is disappoint you. All of them are trash. No one knows how to treat a real woman. My standards are too high. Whatever. And then out of freaking dust, this rom-com man out of the movies just freaking sweeps me off my feet. Like it wasn't anything quick. We were talking for a long time. I'm just a very independent girl. So I didn't say yes to dating him right away. Long story short, I'm so freaking lucky. Almost a year and a half now has gone by so fast and I'm just enjoying every single freaking day, every single freaking moment of this relationship. It's just amazing. I love it. And I love him. June, my sister got married. My oldest sister got married. We're like two years apart. Her wedding was beautiful. Oh, what the frick is that? That is my scalp. Ooh. My thoughts on her now husband. That's so weird to say. I think he's really cool. I think he's perfect for my sister. They're both kind of... They're both kind of quirky, but like in the best way. They're quirky to a point where it just evens each other out. The colors were, no! <gasps> You're joking. You're joking, it's freaking, no. Ugh. Okay, wait, hold on. Please, no! See, there's literally nothing in here. Or their main color was eggplant purple dark purple it was and putting it together 
was stressful i'm not gonna lie bridal shower was stressful everything went, had its share of stress but at the end of the day everything went really smoothly everything was really beautiful i'm not gonna lie being part of a wedding of a relative that is so close to me like my blood sister is literally making me not want a wedding i'd rather elope i'd rather have a zoom wedding let's get married on zoom because i'm not trying to have everybody break their bank for a few hours in a building literally a wedding is for everybody else but the couple you have all these people fly in you have to feed all of these people just to celebrate it so let's celebrate on zoom you can you can watch my wedding on my youtube channel but do we need a physical wedding for me i'm good but then again at the same time i've always just wanted a wedding for the party guys let me tell you polynesian weddings Ooh, girl you could invite a hundred people right and 500 will show up and it's because polynesian families are so big I do have a huge extended family. I'm so concentrated right now. One sec. Guys, my hair is getting so long. My hair hasn't been long, like really long since 2020. 2020, I chopped my hair. My hair was at freaking booty length. I chopped it to freaking shoulder length. And silly me thought it would grow back the same. No. It absolutely did not. Summer came and like it wasn't that crazy of a summer even though I really wish it was. I mean that's all up to me right? I'm in charge of my own memories right? Yeah during the summer my friend circle got very small. And when I say small I would say maybe like just less than five people. And like the really really constant ones were just two people my boyfriend and my other friend my friend Ainsley the one you saw in the last video me and her are like freaking this and did I wish for my circle to become that small of course not nobody wishes for it to be that small but in order to keep my freaking sanity and then you know you have some friends that are like acquaintances and whatnot and like you can tolerate them and you have a good time around them but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're your people like okay those two are done i i'm scared to look at the middle part because i don't think it's straight and so like going back to the small circle stuff like miss monet said if you're gonna come into my life you better be an addition you better add to me you better add to my cup to my light to my soul and everybody else around me at the time did absolutely the opposite Taking from my cup, taking from my sanity, taking from my soul, taking from my light. And so respectfully, let me bubble up around you. Because no, 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 no. You're not taking any more, girl. So yeah, my circle got really small. And I'm okay with that. And yes, I do think about like the people who leave high school with their whole friend group and they stay with their friend group throughout life and throughout college and all of that. And I'm like... <sighs> You know, I wish, but life happens. Growth happens. So it's bound to happen. Anyways, yeah. So I stopped YouTube because number one, creative block. When you're a highly creative person like me, holy moly, it makes me wanna freaking crawl up, crawl up, crawl up in a ball, take myself to the top of a hill and freaking roll down it until I unravel hate having creative blocks because i feel freaking lost like in korea my creativity was popping the frick off i was posting every single day i was excited to post you know what i mean i was really passionate about all that stuff and it's not necessarily that i lost my passion for all of that but i kind of did i haven't found any music that i really really connect with such a long time and i mean like freaking a few years so i was in a creative block i could not produce anything and that included youtube videos like i have a literal notes in my phone saying of things that i want to post or like video ideas 
so it's not like I ran out of ideas I think I was just questioning my creative ability to execute those ideas so I just didn't post and so I just didn't film so that's one of the main reasons why I wasn't on YouTube for a while and I'm not saying that like my creative block has been unblocked but like I just really miss the whole YouTube thing so I'm gonna try it again that's my life advice number one for this video keep trying and trying again and kind of what made me go back into it is because some of my favorite youtubers are literally the basics like monet and emma chamberlain like queen you're inspiring me let me do it on my own a creative space so i just started watching my favorite youtubers again re-inspired by them also disclaimer feel free feel free to speed up this video because um, if you guys have followed me for a while, my, I have loved art since I was a little kid. For me, it was always just a hobby, something I was really good at. I don't know why recently I just got the bright idea to start selling art. I have so many paintings lying around. Another thing about being a highly creative person is I will get rushes of inspiration and motivation and energy and confidence in my creative ability that I will I'm so extremely motivated to do one thing. I will pursue it fully for like a few days or a week. And then once that time is up, I stop it as fast as I started it. So when I was in one of those times, I posted on my Instagram. Hey everybody, I'm gonna start selling my art by the end of the month. The end of that month was supposed to be the end of June. Rewind to June. Did you see any of my art <clears throat> go for sale? No, you didn't. I did all of that when I was extremely motivated and energetic about it, and I did not even do the research before I made that announcement. A long story short, it's a lot more complicated than I thought. And I know that this art business thing was gonna come with investments, but your girly is not making that much at my job. So when I started to calculate all of the expenses and the prices of things, I'm like, oh, ooh. I don't know if we can do that just yet. Yet is a good word, yet. Yet is good because it doesn't necessarily mean that you're never gonna do it, you just can't do it right now. It's a bit much for right now, but yeah. Yes, I'm still planning to sell my art, but, and I didn't think all of that through because me and my freaking brain just go off sometimes. And honestly, sometimes when I'm in those states, I think that I can do anything. And yes, I can do anything, but I can't do everything. You know what I mean? And I try to do everything, which doesn't help me in the long run. And I feel like I do that for a lot of things. Uh, and it's so disappointing. Hey guys, I'm gonna have a new cover out soon. It never happens. Hey guys, I'm gonna rewrite this song or I'm gonna write a song. Never, never happens. happens. Why? Many reasons. Anyways, and this might get a little TMI, but as a woman, one of the parts of being a woman is that time of the month. I started fairly late getting those times of the month. See, in our house, my mom and my sisters and I, we call it the Mahina, right? Mahina is a, is a Hawaiian word for moon. And so when you think about it, the Mahina, the moons have phases. When we say, oh, are you on your Mahina? Is it your phase? Is it your time of shedding your eggs? To be blunt that is probably not the way my mom would describe it i was fairly late to getting my mahina and ever since then she's been irregular here i am oh here i am oh no not here this month oh not here the next month boom here i am again and it's been like that for so many years and only now am i starting to understand like my cycle of emotions and the cycle of moods and hormones right before i will be in the dark depths of darkness crying all the time wishing i freaking wasn't alive wishing sorry that went a little far the most prominent thing that i get is that i literally want to restart my life 
I will get my floods of inspiration and creativity and confidence and whatever. And then she'll be gone. That was like so such an unnecessary point to put in this video, but I just wanted to share. Now that I've organized my thoughts, I kind of don't remember what I said. I'm glad I got things out because now I feel a lot more better. I'm freaking ready for the day. I'm ready to put my bubble up and to protect my soul, to protect my light. You know what I mean? And I'm just ready to go. Could we call this certified yap sesh? Absolutely. Did I yap with anyone? No. Last thing I want to leave. You know what trend is freaking irritating me so much? If I hear one more prepubescent teen say, very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. Oh my gosh. I'm going to once again crawl up in a ball, take myself to the top of a hill, and roll down it until I unravel. I'm gonna take myself to a top of a gravel hill. Oh! Now everybody thinks they're some intelligent human being because they know how to use the word demure. Some of you don't even know where the original came from. And actually, I don't even know if that is the original. But the nanny, the show, demure. I'm gonna go now and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for staying. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little update that you didn't ask for. <laughs> Love ya. See ya. And next time.